Now, when you go to OpenSea.io, there would be an option to click on Create button. That is not the only way to create NFTs. And that is not how most of you would be creating NFTs. Thank you, Viral, for the lovely introduction. By the way, I guess I won't require mic if it is audible to everybody, right? Because while I was sitting in the back, I guess there was an echo. So, is everybody fine with the normal voice? Yes. 100? All right, thank you. So hi, uh, I'm the guy who never comes with a PPT because I'm, I suck in PPTs. And when I'm uh, into PPTs, I feel that aise karke bolna hai, so I waste my two seconds in looking like that. So <laughs> I'm, I'm that person. Um, so yeah, my background, a little bit of that. I am working, I would say, since past 12 years now, after taking three times dropout from college. Uh, and people get motivated by listening to three times drop out by college. No, it's not like that, that I'm here to motivate you to take a drop or do something which is crazy out of the world. Uh, I took my first ever drop from college, which is electronics and communications um, in the year 2009. And that was because my dad got a paralytic stroke. Now, when you come from a very lower middle class family, uh, jahan par college mein, when I was in the college, the monthly expense, which a papa mommy gives you, ko, uh, my friends used to get 6,000, 7,000 rupees at that point in time because I was talking about that time, the old types, uh, where we used to have one meal, one thali, which is Gujarati thali, one th uh, meal used to be costing 60 rupees. And today, if you go outside, it's bare minimum 120 to 150 rupees, right? So it's like that kind of era where uh, my friends used to get 6,000 rupees on an average, and my dad used to give me 3,000 rupees. So it was that kind, and 3,000 rupees bhi wo 10 din late aata tha kabhi kabhi and all such kind of things. So when my dad got a paralytic stroke, financial crisis, everything, I had to take a drop because of so many other reasons as well. Uh, but never thought that I would never attend the college again. And that is the reason why second time. How many of you are, I guess everybody would be engineers, right? So you already know that if you are taking a drop and not giving examination or taking examination rather, in the even semester, you cannot sit for the next even semester. You can definitely go ahead with the odd semester. So I didn't take the examination of sixth semester of electronics and communications while I scored 88% in science, 93 in physics, 94 in maths. So I, I loved my subjects, I loved studying always. But because I had this scenario, sixth semester exam nahi de paya in 2009-ish, 10-ish, and then I was not able to sit in the eighth semester, which is by the way final semester for interviews and internships and all such kind of things. So I was there in seventh semester, but in the first month itself, I got fucked up. I was completely lost because of family, because of all this trouble. Pure parivar mein, in the age of 21, I'm seeing somebody in hospital for the first ever time while I never went to a hospital. And when you see your dad, mental imbalance ho jata hai. And at that point in time, Munna bhai ka chemical imbalance chal raha tha. My friend gave me a book which is Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Cash Flow Quadrant. So all of those things in 21 years old kid just messed up around in the life. And he was clueless, he was directionless. And that's the reason why I took a call center job. Because in 2009-ish, 10-ish, you only get a call center job which is paying you good versus a degree holder. Because a degree holder at that point in time used to get 14,000 rupees as a salary in the starting 14 to 18,000, 2009 ki baat kar raun, And I got 18,000 package. And 18,000 was CTC where I had no clue about CTC. So when I took a job, the first month's salary which was credited was 9,700 something rupees. And I went to my floor manager asking that, hey, my salary is like, why it is 9,700? And then he said, that is CTC, which is 16,800. And I'm like, what is that? So I come from that background to now fast forwarding. I did call center jobs for four uh, years, raised myself to customer service head by 2014 and then from 2015 to 2018 I have also done full-time jobs in digital marketing where I have trained professionals, trained students, trained marketing executives at institutes and raised myself to product manager of a digital marketing institute by 2018. So 2010 to 2018 has been my full-time job career during which I have always been side hustling or this digital pratik naam bhi bana wo pehli bar ek idea aaya tha because of certain reasons i won't go into the story because it will stretch along so i got this idea i booked the domain digital pratik in 2016 and just imagine we are sitting over here in 2022 it took me 6 years now all right of that name as well and that is the reason why i always say that i don't have an experience of a founder i don't have an experience of a business person i don't have an experience of an nft founder i don't have an experience of xyz job employee i have an experience of practically working for 12 years. 
and that is what i try to preach a kid who is probably 13 year old kid who might be my friend's daughter who are there on my whatsapp group because they respect me more versus their parents why because i understand them more because they tell me that hey i like this kid who is on snapchat and i love to date him all right and i'm like go ahead it's okay but make sure that you are respectful to your parents and you study well so they are very transparent to me where they are very authentic to me now when i say yes to snapchat dating doesn't mean that you have to go on online sexting and sexting all the time no because in our age how many of you are about 30 3 4 how many of you are about 25 <laughs> lot of you are under 25 so under 25 right now how many of you are about 20 then all right most of you are about 20 right so if you are about 20 i'm sure you might be right now sexting or dating or here and there messaging aur kuch na kuch to kar rahe honge jo aapke maa baap ko malum nahi hai right but still you respect your parents hell like crazy so there is always that gap which you have to focus on and which is what i focus on with respect to my business now the reason why i go into all these things in the beginning is because you have to understand that we come from different generations and in business as well there are so many different innovations which a lot of founders don't understand to innovate quickly early adopt to that which is what one of them is nfts right now so after doing that 8 years of full time job August 2018 I'm deciding okay fine now I'm at a stage where I can do something on my own completely 100% and that's where I jumped into doing digital pratik full time freelancing clients this and that and still didn't have any company registered I was taking money in the savings account only and that happened for a long then I understood okay fine there are legal entities you have to pay taxes this and that IT returns that's where I registered an LLP company today we have a private limited company and still probably people sitting over here might know me as this ip which is digital pratik and you guys have no clue about my private limited company the name you know even viral might not have been aware about my private limited company so i have been very cautious in marketing and branding myself or my businesses lot of founders or creators who are currently trying to start an nft project are fully focused on how i can just build a community through nfts well i have been going the reverse way i have been building community and if i look at this audience right now which is 20 to 30 people i'll fully focus on how this 20 to 30 people stays with me through till the end with 100% audience retention i won't focus on how i can record this fully how i can promote this so that it reaches to 1 million people and this and that i won't think of that in the moment how i can build the community too many people are right now when they are focusing on launching an nft project without even knowing the actual concepts of nfts where i am not saying that i know everything on nfts because i am a non technical background i am completely opposite to what viral and these guys are or probably you engineers might be because i am a dropout all right and one of the other reasons which i took a drop is because of wireless communication as a subject वो एंटेनाज मोबाइल एंटेनाज एंड स्टार्टेड कमिंग एंड वो एंटेना मेरे को रेजोनेट नहीं हुआ राइट बट या एन एफ टीज इफ यू थिंक ऑफ एन एफ टीज आई फील एन एफ टीज आर ऑन ब्रॉडर स्पेक्ट्रम कंफिगर्ड इन टू थ्री डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज दिस इज हाउ आई लुक एट दिस पर्टिकुलर इनोवेशन एज अ टेक्नोलॉजी आई डोंट सी दिस एज अ जस्ट अ डिजिटल एसेट विच पीपल आर राइट नाउ सेइंग अ वर्चुअल एसेट विच यू कैन ओन अ डिजिटल एसेट विच यू कैन ओन अ डिजिटल एसेट एसेट विच इज ऑन ब्लॉकचेन एंड लाइंग ऑन मेटामास्क आई जस्ट सी दिस एज अ न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी इनोवेशन व्हिच इज राइट नाउ कैटेगराइज्ड इनटू थ्री डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज इफ आई से दैट दिस इज वन ऑफ द कैटेगरीज आई फील दैट दिस कैटेगरी ओवर हियर is something which is a collectible all right just think of this as a pure collectible like mf hussein ka painting got that that is one part let's talk about the second category over here which is this now adds up collectible plus a little bit of utility all right think of this as the same thing which is a chair this chair is a utility in human beings life agree yes or no right yes or no yes amdad parivar mauj mane mauj mane ha ave thodo gawa jaya 
so this is the second category think of this as collectible plus utility and now let's think of me as one chair right now who is the third category which will never be used in human beings life but it will stay like a collectible or anything don't even give it a name let's call this as a third category of something which you would be having example your aadhar card aadhar card abhi sabke paas hai driving license mostly sabke paas hoga right passport abhi nahi hoga lekin ghar pe hoga how many fucking times do you even open that and see that only when required at airports at booking the tickets xyz right think of that as one kind of category now all right so now we talk about these three categories out of which you clearly understood that nfts which are this category are not to be understood right they are just like that they will become a part of our lives just like certificates just like blockchain certificates a hospital ka record jo aapke let's suppose kudana khalsa kuch bhi hota hai aapko then what will happen you might get a report right your blood report or anything do you even see that blood report after you become you know well and where you you don't but again unfortunately if you go you know sick then your doctor would ask do you have your reports what is the previous report and you then take out correct this third category is something like this aisa chosu agle 10 20 30 saal mein blockchain as it evolves see i'm say i'm not even saying how many times did i say nft as a word in this past 10 minutes right now maybe hardly 3 or 5 times right what i'm saying blockchain technology so you have to understand like this now it is not something which you will buy and flip it for making money this category is not like that this category is pure which is something which will be used at times in human beings life but it will be with them forever all right so that is the reason why i made you understand the third category first because that is the least important but the most important of human beings now let's talk about the first category over here this first category is all about collectible all right and over here i talked about mf husain ka painting now <coughs> understand this good things take time it's so <laughs> so well written over here good things take time if i somebody has written this right or somebody has drawn this i can literally create this as a picture right now and create an nft does that mean that i am somebody like an mf hussain agar wo jeevit hote ya agar wo nft launch karte ya unki agar generations nft launch karti hai would this be have the same kind of collectible value as compared to this never right this is what people forget what newbies are trying to do especially after the 2021 boom currently we are in the bearish market so people are not even talking about it which is what i was waiting so that i can come up on the stage and only talk about this all right over there 2021 was an era where everybody is like yaar iska art bahut sahi hai ye to faad dega yaar ye kitty bahut achhi hai ye billi bahut achhi hai ye kutta bahut acha hai bhai tum log ne ya yeah, when i say tum log yani i'm generalizing the concept who are buying just for the sake of flipping that era is gone that era is everywhere and every time when a new concept gets introduced that era was there when websites were launched that era was there when mobile apps were launched and mobile app developers were like crazy shit and they were charging thousands of dollars which they still do but abhi to bahut sare har gali nukkad mein mobile app developer hoga ios developer hoga that era was there when ankit fadia probably in 2005 4 when he was there with bluetooth hacking when there was nothing like wifi even introduced in the world it was bluetooth right ankit fadia was crazy hell then sunny waghela hai jo ahmedabad mein hi hai all right and there are so many now veeral himself is working on in this segment right but there are so many people right now who can do ethical hacking if you learn linux and kali and all these languages you can sit in the bedroom and do something i myself used to create batch files in my college days I scored 99 in computer education in my 10th standard. I still have the report card. But today, I'm no shit. I'm like this. 
today i am not like this i was like this at that point in time so if from 2005 till 2022 if i was only doing that i would have become the crazy shit nft project creator of this field as well of ethical hacking as well but now i am not so this category needs to have some base value of you doing something before even launching an nft project you have to have certain brand ab ye waisi baat ho gayi bahut sare log aise dekhte hai that this is kind of a nepotism this is kind of a yaar mere paas to abhi kuch nahi hai na then don't complain right this is exactly the same like if you start your engineering career today you cannot compare it with somebody who is into engineering field since 10 years right but that we have configured in our heads as human beings why because that is a normal thing which we always see in the world this is brand new so humko grasp nahi ho raha hai so understand this as a pure collectible value jahan par koi ek image hota hai and then if you really so who would be collectors of this let's talk about that for a while one who is really passionate about art who really understands the strokes matlab ek stroke aisa hai na usko bhi samajhta hai ya samajhti hai right so वो बंदा या बंदी ऐसा आर्ट कलेक्टेबल लेता है सेकंड कैटेगरी समबडी लाइक मी इवन आई हैव बॉट पीएफपी प्रोजेक्ट्स प्रोफाइल पिक्चर प्रोजेक्ट्स मतलब एक अच्छा आर्ट होना सो व्हेन आई बॉट दैट आई बॉट इट विथ एन इंटेंशन ऑफ व्हाट एज अ बिजनेसमैन दैट ओके फाइन इफ आई एम बाइंग दिस विथ टू इंटेंशन दैट इफ द इफ द क्रिएटर ऑफ दिस व्हिच इज एन आर्टिस्ट इफ दैट आर्टिस्ट बिकम्स बिग इन नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स maybe the value of that nft would increase so i am very patient in my investment just like in real estate property second i have an intention that okay fine even if i don't understand i would love to buy because the market is bullish so maybe i can quick i can flip it for quick profits so these were the major intentions while buying this collectible ye community hai na kuch nahi tha tab community community banayenge community community banayenge people who are buying that were 99% of the times trying to buy with only two intentions one they really were understanding the art and number two they just wanted to flip it now let's talk about the major thing which would be there in everybody's life if you are thinking of business or if you are a good employee a great employee an expert employee of a company let's talk about this i'll give this i always give this example which is very fantastic because whenever i see you guys in any on on any of the talk most of the times people are sitting on the chair all right and that gives me that entry point to start the conversation for this one why are you guys sitting on chair you could have sit on the floor as well right can anybody give me the reason why are you sitting on chairs comfort okay some people thought to make it as a business and that's why we're using it all right business opportunity yeah we can sit on the floor and it would be more comfortable i said yeah so if if i am a carpet company i'll create something like a very cushy carpet and then i can you know be a competitor of a chair company but that never happened why because this was more comfortable plus let me add one more thing status it feels good it looks good in our human beings life right when if if you are sitting down our human psychology is trained in such a way ab bhai niche kyun baitha hai please yaar upar baith jao na with respect or with culture which we are brought up with agreed <coughs> now i as a person who is doing personal branding since years i try to understand human behaviors like this then okay fine what i have been what we have been doing and the reason why i try to implement all these things in my nft projects or to make you understand is because of one reason that i am a non developer i don't know how to create an nft meaning now let's talk about a couple of fundamental how do you create an nft how many of you don't know raise your hand so i can go a little bit all right most of you so let's talk about a couple of fundamentals nft when you create first of all it goes on the blockchain it's created on blockchain technology now let's understand the basics of that you have heard bitcoin you have heard ethereum you have heard polygon you have heard solana xyz all these are not just cryptocurrencies most of the indians think that bitcoin ka naam liya yani kuch khareedna hai aur bechna hai that is trading we are not talking about that that is trading let's talk about something which is blockchain technology so bitcoin 
is a blockchain technology it's a blockchain technology on which if you want to do something you require something which is known as a currency which is btc all right let's talk about ethereum ethereum is a blockchain technology a blockchain technology on which if you want to transact or something you use ethereum as a cryptocurrency which is e actually hum bolne mein wo ether hai lekin sab log ne ethereum kar diya hai and that is what is the cryptocurrency but because we indians the way it was promoted by coin switch coin dcx and wazirx 100 rupaye ka bitcoin le lo 100 rupaye ka bitcoin le lo and everybody went into that trap it was a great marketing tactic which will be remembered forever there were high you know high production value ads created just for the sake of you guys buying 100 rupees ka btc why because it was so early that people wanted to grab whatever they can as customer database but now people like us <laughs> are trying to educate you guys in the right way because right now nobody is talking about bitcoin lelo right so now you have understood that that is not an nft kind of thing that is not something which we should learn that is just a trading part to wo to trading jo karte hai unke liye wo kaam hai and traders also got fucked up especially when when the taxes were rolled out because agar wo din ka 10000 ka profit kamate the now they have to also think of 30% as a tax plus if they come into the regular tax bracket of 30 then they have to pay 3 to 4% of cess tax as well people are not aware about this all right so let's talk about nfts right now you got the concept it's a blockchain technology on which you do something using that cryptocurrency right now let's talk about amazon for a second when you hear shopping as a word you think of amazon as one of the biggest platforms and you trust that platform similarly for nfts right now the first and the largest and the most trustworthy platform right now as well is what open c okay open c the link is open c.io now when you go to open c.io there would be an option to click on create button that is not the only way to create nfts and that is not how most of you would be creating nfts ye main isliye bataya taki wahan nahi jana hai wahan jana hai aur click karna hai waisa nahi hai wahan nahi jana hai why i say this let's understand two different things one wahan jaoge to kya hoga one wahan nahi kyun jana hai let's talk about this when you go to opensea.io and click on create it gives you a platform like amazon you can create your platform over there you can upload your picture over there and then you can start selling your t-shirts or whatever business you have same way over here but do you have 100% control over that you don't you just have a control of your admin portal you cannot say amazon that hey main tere ko tax free nahi dunga ya transaction fee nahi dunga wo lega hi now let's talk about here shopify everybody knows shopify when you create a shopify store of your own even though shopify is owned by a company even though it is centralized centralized decentralized bhul jao sab kuch understand business aspects when you have something over here and uh, sorry when i say because i have to contextualize this because this is recorded when i say centralized decentralized bhul jao this is not with any disrespect to the builders all right who are technology and product builders of web3 i love you all because of you we can do something so i love you so 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 much and i have so many friends who are web3 builders this is what not de respect with disrespect with this is with respect to most of the people not going into that because not everybody is a coder so when you are a business person or somebody who doesn't understand coding and web3 building understand that centralized or decentralized or you would be doing something on platforms or something using coders so you don't have to worry about that let the developers have that headache of building decentralized platforms all right so just wanted to make sure that this is not the disrespect to the web3 developers so now let's understand the sec second point when you don't go to opensea.io and don't click on create but you ask some developer just like understand that abhi website development ke liye wordpress hai hi nahi let's go back to that era where wordpress was not there whom you would hire a website developer right 
वेबसाइट डेवलपर को लैंग्वेजेस आती है एच टी होगी या मतलब जो सी एस एस होती है आई डोंट नो द मोस्ट लैंग्वेजेस पी एच पी एंड ऑल सो दे डेवलप एंड यू गाइज ब्लाइंडली ट्रस्ट दैम करंटली देर आर डेवलपर्स फॉर एन एफ टीज हाउ देर इज अ लैंग्वेज कॉल सॉलिडिटी सॉलिडिटी पे ये पूरा एक चीज बनता है विच इज अ पीस ऑफ कोड दैट इज नोन एज स्मार्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दैट इज अ वर्ड which will be with us forever whether you are a developer or not why will come on that part in a while smart contracts are developed by these developers and they are fed to something which are developing platforms jaise remix karke ek hai and then they deploy the smart contracts similar to they build a coding thing which is html and they do it on local host platforms and things but when the client says yes i love this now let's make it live same way when the project creator agrees upon certain facts that okay fine if somebody buys my nft they should be getting this when somebody buys an nft it has to be on ethereum when something buys on this that it has to be on this standard x y z let's not go into the technical but when it is agreed upon this developer actually deploys that smart contract and it becomes an nft all right itna samajh mein aaya right now this nft this project creator has a front end matlab aapki website aagi if it is a wordpress it would be like .com/or.in/ wp-admin that you can access right that is kind of a user friendly platform to you same way you have something like a back end jahan par people can come and buy your nfts now let's understand what is this buying nfts because people get confused with buying nfts minting nfts transferring nfts air dropping nfts and so many things to not complicate for you just understand one thing that if you as a consumer are getting an nft in your wallet wallet is nothing but you having something on blockchain where your nft is stored all right let's not complicate with custodial wallets and non custodial wallets and this is the reason why i don't you know make you understand the technical parts wo aap figure kar loge there is a podcast of me you can listen to that there are videos of me you can listen to that i am here to make your life simpler complexity is google and youtube pe already hai all right so let's understand this now when it is lying over here जैसे कि मोबाइल एक लाई कर रहा है मेरे पॉकेट में हैव यू एवर वरीड अबाउट पॉकेट कैसे बनता है नहीं ना सिंपल यू वेयर जीन्स यू वेयर योर क्लोज एंड यू पुट इट ओवर देयर सिंपल द एन एफ टी वुड बी स्टोर्ड इन सम वॉलेट नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दैट अगर आपको वो फ्री में मिलता है दैट आई से दैट ही गाइज यू केम टू माई टॉक एंड इफ यू हैव एंजॉयड ब्ला 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 यू गिव मी अ रेटिंग नाउ एनी बडी हु माइट बी गिविंग मी अ रेटिंग You would be getting a free NFT. फ्री एन एफ टी बोलता हूं मीनिंग आई वुड बी सेंडिंग एन एन एफ टी टू योर वॉलेट दैट टर्म इन ब्लॉक चेन वर्ल्ड और एन एफ टी वर्ल्ड इज नोन एज एयर ड्रॉप यू आर कंफर्टेबल विद एयर ड्रॉप एन आई फोन कम्स इन टू पिक्चर बट यू आर अनकंफर्टेबल राइट नाउ वाई बिकॉज एन एफ टी इतना अभी यूज केस में नहीं आया है यू विल बिकम कंफर्टेबल विद दिस टर्म इवेंचुअली देट ओके फाइन एयर ड्रॉप नहीं एन एफ टी ना If you are using an Android phone, you will talk about Bluetooth, Bluetooth, Bluetooth. But when you talk about iPhone, you start saying "airdrop करना," <laughs> right? That's how humans evolve. So NFT airdrop समझ में आया? You get something for free in doing something. या तो ऐसे भी आ सकता है. That in 2027, let's say, if I take your wallet addresses, मतलब आपकी UPI ID समझ लो. If I take your wallet addresses today and store it in a sheet and give it to my developer. to upload that in smart contract and then if i say that in 2027 on what is the date today 25th right 25th september 2027 aapki ye fd mature hogi <laughs> all right aur aapka ye investment mature hoga if i do something like that that at that point in time whatever my company will earn as a revenue and you would get 10% profits split to all these wallet addresses only now just imagine what will happen is this something called as utility 
that because you hold that NFT as a collectible, but now you are also getting some value because you did something. And what is that did something for you guys? You came to this place, you attended this talk, and you hold that NFT. Right? Nobody's talking about these kind of concepts. Everybody is figuring out how I can, uh, by the way, um, fig figuring out is uh, Raj Chamane's podcast. You should listen to it. And uh, I'm uh, shamelessly promoting that because I'm not getting any money, but Raj Chamane is my dear friend, kind of a younger brother. I love you, Raj. So, and this is what the brand recalls are, you know. <laughs> but anyways, and that's a Jordar brand recall. So, <laughs> anyway, so now when you hold that NFT, and if you get some value, that value might be in the form of money, that value might be in the form of some tickets. I can also say that in 25th, on 25th September 2027, five years down the line, if I throw an event, you guys will get free access. Now, there is no cheating because at that point in time, I will create a website, a portal, where you will have to come, connect your wallet, and only if you have this NFT in your wallet, you will get the ticket. It's that automated. This is known as utility. Now just answer me one thing. How many utilities can now you think around businesses without worrying about the concepts of NFTs? How many? Just throw a number. Yes, sir. All right, so thank you so much, sir. So basically what he's trying to say is, let me, let me just little bit correct it as well because that is not completely possible. Example, what he's trying to say is solar, you said, right? Solar panels or whatever it is. So, usko energy dene ke liye NFT karna hai ya waisa nahi, waisa mat dimag mein dalna. That is completely technical, meaning the Web3 developers, whom we have to respect so much. Currently, we are talking about we as non-developers, jisko ghanta bhi malum nahi hai ke kaise develop karna hai. What we understand is business aspect and what we understand is whatever they are building, how we can use as business to add the utility, right? So, let's talk about the same example. If there are solar, solar panel, by the way, one of my friends' company is Everpower. They are into Australia, Queensland, they are into US, in the UK. And what they are doing is installing solar panels. Now, those solar panels are costing somewhere around anywhere from $5,000 to up to $50,000 as well, depending upon how raw houses are big. Because in Queensland and all, there are big buildings there, there is no such thing. There are more raw houses. So they install that solar panel. Now, if I am that company, how you, NFTs can be utilized? You have all heard of loyalty programs, right? I, on the first day itself, will sit on the piece of computer because I already have the business. Now, in this business, I will download all the customer list till this point in time. And I would say that, hey, I am launching an NFT project and the cost of an NFT is XYZ. But all my customers, if you fill up this form and enter your wallet addresses, you will be getting this NFT for free which is an airdropping thing. The utility would be, anybody who would be holding this NFT, you would be getting 20% discount forever on every solar panel installation. All right? Imagine now what will happen if there are only 1,000 NFTs for that business. And if I'm living in India, I would still buy that with two primary reasons. One, as a businessman, again, that I know that this business will grow, this business brand's value will grow, so let me buy that so that people who would be living in Queensland would want to buy this and I would make money. Second primary reason is, maybe I might think that I might study in Australia if I am an 18-year-old kid right now. I might go to their uh, Queensland and I might have the house and I might install the panel and maybe I'll get benefits like that. All right? This is how the brand value will increase the NFT's value. On top of that, yes, if the founder is like me, he or she will constantly talk about NFT's and concepts like this. 
so that you guys come to know more of digital pratik you guys know more about my community you guys know more about jor parivar and you guys end up buying jordar nfts of jor parivar now that also becomes talent of a person who is marketing and promoting and that's the reason why probably viral gave the introduction of branding and marketing i'm a pure branding and marketing guy i'm not a developer or an nft project creator all right i'm the founder of jor parivar which is my nft project plus on top of that now i'm going to talk about the last segment by the way you understood these two categories yes or no this is endless possibilities now all you have to think is normal business mein kaise isko hum value provide kar sakte hain and how we can attach that to nfts nfts are just going to be another way of branding and marketing your business especially in this category not the third category all right the reason why this is the way i explained it for the first ever time in the past one and a half years now why because people are taking this in a wrong way when i say nfts are just going to be another way of branding and marketing what people are thinking that certificates ko kaise wo karenge that's the reason why i'm giving these three categories on a broader spectrum so now let's understand something known as ip building you heard me saying jordar word quite a lot of times you might be seeing this diagram you might be seeing this good things take time you might be seeing this devex as a logo you might be seeing so many things which are there right <coughs> why do you wear spider man as a you know picture on your t-shirt or something why do you wear pokemon ka keychain why do you have all these things because they are intellectual properties which are emotionally now connected with human beings in some shape or form correct you might uh, uh, what is your favorite character anybody Harry Potter okay Spider Man uh, What's your age sir That's the reason why I have no fucking clue about what he said but <laughs> by the way when I say that I'm 33 all right so that is the huge that is a huge gap almost ek daika ka farak hai so I don't know certain things in the now but yeah that's an IP which he is connected right Similarly there are so many IPs which you might be connected with Now imagine NFTs give you a great way for you to not be a big business person but still use content for the next 10 years to build your own IP which is what exactly my project is trying to do we are trying so i have drawn these kind of characters 22 unique characters on a piece of paper i'm not an artist so my drawing sucks it doesn't make any meaning but i'm putting meaning to that drawing now forever and building that ip in some shape or form which will resonate with human beings day in and day out all right so those 22 drawings are first before even launching nft project are launched and then given to government of india for trademark all right can you open up a business of amul without taking permission no why because that is a trademark now i'm not going into the details of trademark and all those things but there are 45 different classes in indian government jahan par aap trademark le sakte ho for certain things i have taken trademark in all the classes not 45 but major 7 to 8 classes of certain things which i'm building so that nobody in future can build any business out of that i've taken trademark of jordar word as well not just characters and jordar word if you see j o r r d r a r it's not jesh by jordar i capitalized on that by using something of my own all right and that is in my my events are known as jordar events so now what i can do is basically this ip which is there this ip has a heart in the middle and then there is basically if i show you like this if this is point a and if you draw a line like this and come over here and point b so what you potentially saw was a picture like this point a this is point a or point a is here it starts like this it goes like this and in it's like this point b niche aa gaya so now in the middle of you rotating like this consider this as your life from point a which where you are born to point b where you'll die one day during this entire journey of life you would do so many things which you might like it might be you might right now what do you like right now if i tell you one thing to do today on sunday 
what you will do today apart from coming over here and giving me love thank you code. sorry code, code. Sleep. 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 sleep perfect talking to people, talking to people. okay Painting. paintings probably if uh, you ask me i might play badminton chess cricket you know x y z n number of things dating meeting a girl meeting a boy it can be anything you might like right now right will you do it forever will you sleep forever will you talk to people forever no right will you date forever no i mean you will get married <laughs> that is dating forever but the point which i am trying to draw is point a to b you might have so many likings in your life but during those likings you might find one to up to five things which you will do any time any point in life and those might be your love there is a very thin line of difference between liking something and loving something i scored 93 in physics i liked my subjects today if you tell me no fuck that yaar you know i i won't love coding right now so maybe i liked that in the moment at that point in time i even do, did ethical hacking at that point in time bluetooth hacking infrared before even wifi came but now if you ask i have no clue about that because i didn't stay updated why because i didn't love it you ask me what i love i genuinely love talking to people but while talking i want to talk to provide value my mom always says a ghar mein to bolto nahi dikhe just imagine you know <laughs> you, you might be wondering i got to bolaj no you talk to my mom my mom says and ghar mein to koi baat nahi hoti right so i love talk if you put me on stage right this for 24 hours you guys will sleep but i'll be like this same energy and i'll make sure that i won't let you sleep <laughs> so that's something which i'm passionate about jo bolte na what is your passion bhai nahi pata hota hai logo 10 years down the line my passion might change because i might be 43 i'll have kids i'm single right now but i'll have kids i'll get married at that point in time my life is different at the age of 43 2032 i'm not sure whether i'll just be talking on stage like this but i will innovate when you love something which is your heart now you'll always innovate with that you'll never stop doing that but if you just like it deeply like it in the moment you might even stop that for in future and this is what this ip is with all i mean tumne tumhara maa baap na samjhe tell me the truth did you connect with this ip right now by this small little storytelling concept yes or no raise your hands right this is what if i do it for 20 years will you wear this kind of ip t-shirts or this kind of something in your life a keychain or something at that point in time right will you as a parent in 13 years tell your kids that hey it's okay fuck your passion kaisa nahi kuch nahi hota hai live your life what do you like right now will you talk to your kids like this you know and that's where i want to talk about this concept of ip building using nfts what i have done in nft without being a developer programmer anything what i have done is i have literally created these 22 drawings trademark them in government of india with proper name the name of this ip just like you have spider man and an image i have this image one of the image out of 22 and the name of this is life is equal to macro niche and what i told you right now your life is equal to macro niche jahan par bahut sari likings aayegi which is your micro niches and people always google and youtube what is my micro niche how to find micro niche how to find micro niche are bhai jo hai wo pakad ke kaam kar lo you know because that is not going to be forever for you right that is the concept which i am building right now ip building so before launching nfts don't try to understand nfts think of yourself as where your talents are now not everybody would be able to do this this is a very long term game this is a commitment to your audience your holders like for 30 40 years 
So you have to be willing to sacrifice the next 30, 40 years in explaining these kind of things. And not just me explaining, it's impossible for me to scale this way. These IPs would be in content, in comic books, in schools, colleges. So it's me who would be as an operator trying to collaborate with so many different people. You know? So if you're not like this businessman, you should not launch an NFT project like this. This is what you have to understand. That while trying to launch an NFT project, you guys are talented enough. You'll figure the technicalities by Googling and YouTube. The failures are because you are not able to sell that NFT. Why? Because you don't even know your audience. Because you don't even know how strong you are with that NFT project. You just want to launch an NFT project. Why? Because this is an era of launching NFT project and you want to become an early adopter and say to your friends that, hey, my NFT is Most of you guys, or business people if you are, you want to say that, hey, I'm a business who has launched an NFT. I didn't want to launch an NFT just to call Jor Parivar as India's first community-driven NFT project. I wanted to launch NFT because I knew I could do this. I knew that after one and a half years, I launched this in August 2021, but I knew that I won't say this kind of thing for at least one and a half years. Why? Because I'll be operating, I'll be building community, I'll be building legit things, I'll be talking to people, I'll be explaining them concepts. Right? And now it is making sense. When I said that I will be throwing an event through NFTs, people didn't believe me. And in June 2022, I launched, I threw India's first NFT ticketed Jordar event, which was a huge success. This is what I'm trying to explain you over here. I can just speak on and on, but with this being said, this is your host and host, Digital Pratik, signing off. Uh, I open up a Q&A round if you have any questions for maybe, I don't know how much time we have left, Viral. We have, right? So maybe if you have any questions, throw up. Yes. This is not just his question. This is the question of everyone who is trying to launch an NFT project right now in the bear market. Uh, you can sit, sir. You can sit. So um, the thing is, if I was to launch an NFT project today, I would not launch it as an NFT project, especially if my core from the heart Decision is to build a community. All right. I won't launch an NFT project. What I would rather do is, I will promote it. Do you have 30,000 rupees to invest in some ads or something in promotion? Yes or no? You don't? Good. It's great that he answered no, so that I can now give you a contextual answer to that. If you have money, kuch kar sakte. If you don't have money, you still can do it. So let's talk about this. If you don't have money right now, I would still be a part of these kind of communities, which you are on the right track. But then I would also do collaboration with, let's say, the organizer who is viral and say that, hey, uh, what are your charges to throw this kind of you know, event? If he says XYZ amount, if you cannot bear that cost, you say that, OK, fine, how we can do this for free where I can provide you some value? Because you, are, you have talent. If you are a one-man army right now for your NFT project, meaning you can draw, you can create, you can code, right? How you can provide value to him so that he gives you space like this and an audience like this? Where you start communicating with, with, with respect to what? Whatever you want to build a community for. You talk about engineering, you talk about just anything. What am I talking about over here? Not just NFTs, right? I'm legit doing what you should be doing. I'm not asking you to buy my... I know maybe one, I guess, I don't know the other faces, but he is one of the Jor Parivar holders, I guess. Anybody who is holding Jor Parivar as an NFT? No, right? Sorry? You have sold it? You made profits? You made little bit, but you made profits, right? I'm happy for him. There are two segments of people right now who have bought my NFTs. One is still holding, maybe his own reasons. One has sold his own reasons. I, as a founder, I'm super duper happy for both of them. Why? Because they still come to me like this. Or maybe XYZ reasons. This is real community building. So you have to remove this concept of launching an NFT project if you want to build a community. Because now what you can do is, if you still don't have money, you can have a camera on a stand. You don't have to hire a person and have a team. You can have a stand where you are speaking 
and you record that entire thing and start putting that up on social media. Eventually, because you are also doing work, you might invest 1,000 rupees, if not 30,000 rupees, in Facebook ads targeting just Devex local radius of two kilometers. And on Facebook, you say that, hey, I did this talk in Devex. What do you think this recording will go? It will pound you like crazy on Facebook ads because I'm targeting in Ahmedabad heavily. But it would be branding ad. So that people come to know me as a brand name, which is Digital Pratik or Jor Parivar, something like that. I will start wearing my... I don't even remember when I wore something else apart from Jor Parivar in the past couple of months. I'm not wearing anything. Does it mean I don't have clothes? My mom says that I don't have clothes. I don't have clothes. I don't have clothes. You know, you have to be so passionate. I really want to build a community. But in the back of the mind, I'm not romanticizing with NFTs only. And that's the reason why I can say this all confidently in the bear market as well. That's the reason why I can throw Jordar event, which is India's first NFT ticketed event, especially in the bear market. So I would, I mean, most of you, most of the people would tell you that do this, do this, do this and launch. I would say don't do those things to launch. Do these things to build a community. You don't have to launch an NFT project to build a community. You can build a community through email lists as well. You can build a community through newsletters as well. You can build communities through becoming an organizer like Viral. Now what he's doing, he's building communities with founders and business owners. Not the audience all the time. There are different ways of building connects. Community shabd NFT ke wajah se barbaad ho raha hai. What I call that is networking. You start networking with people through various different ways. Out of which NFTs is one. So NFTs are just another way of branding and marketing. And community building is one of the branding and marketing ways. Right? So I would never do this. In fact, during the bull run, when I launched this, it was August 2021. And I launched my project. Do you know how I launched this? How many of you know this? One. Now, I don't know if he knows the entire story. Do you know the Zoom call thing? 30 day Zoom QA session? All right. Let me tell in the bull run as well. What I did, I launched a Shopify store in the month of June, just for one month. And I said that, okay, fine, if you buy two t-shirts of my brand, worth 999 rupees in total, you would get 30 days Zoom Q&A session for free with me. For the entire month of July, I'm sitting for one hour with people, 30 hours of me trying to build community with those 100 people only. Just imagine I'm talking to you for like almost 45 minutes right now. We are building even 1% connection within each other, right? You're trying to make sense as well. Before this, probably a lot of people might not know me. Now you are knowing 1% of me. Imagine if I do this for 30 days, what will happen? That's legit community building. Now in August, I launched NFT project and a lot of people from that bought my NFT project. The reason why I did this in bull run as well is because NFTs were very new in India. Today, when I'm talking about NFTs, a lot of people know. At that point in time, people didn't know. People were thinking of this only. There was no concept of this. And that is the reason why Jor Parivar is India's first community-driven NFT project. It was a high calculated risk. Still it is. And it would be in 2032 as well. Because moving further, now a lot of people would try to do this. People who have 10x, 100x times more money than me. I'm prepared for that. I'm still bootstrapped while people are raising money. So community building doesn't have to be by launching an NFT project. You keep doing what you're doing with NFTs, but you start doing something. This is the reason why please try to combine Web2 and Web3. Don't just try to do Web3 only. We are not in that era. Only Web3 is only for Web3 developers. Because they understand that. 
सेंट्रलाइजेशन डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन को समझना एंड रोमेंटाइजिंग इज नॉट आवर कप ऑफ टी दिस इज लाइक ब्लाइंडली प्लेइंग हाँ मैं ट्रेडमार्क कर लूंगा पर क्या मालूम है कितने क्लासेस है कहां करना है ये वो इट्स सिमिलर टू दैट सो मे बी यूल गूगल यूल यूट्यूब हाउ मेनी ट्रेडमार्क वॉट इज ट्रेडमार्क वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कॉपी राइट एंड ट्रेडमार्क वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन लीगल ये वो ब्ला 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 एंड देन यूल कम अप विद तो छह महीने लग जाएगा मेरे को समझने में बट ओवर देयर यूल इन्वेस्ट योर टाइम वाई बिकॉज दैट इज अ नॉर्मल थिंग दिस इज वेरी न्यू सो यू फील इतना टाइम में इसको क्यों दू बट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड लाइक दैट If you are coming to this event, you should take a photograph and you should draw a painting out of this and gift it to Viral or gift it to Devex. I would do that. I am a branding marketing guy. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. So, so hundred. That's where the IP building, trademarking thing comes into picture. See, people can. Okay, this is like this is like you standing in front of my car and assume that I am having a Porsche, a uh, very unique in Ahmedabad, and it's just one in Ahmedabad. And you coming in front of Porsche, taking a selfie, uploading it on Instagram, and saying that okay, fine, this is mine. I won't have any problems because this is still with me, right? Over here, the only concept is if I say that hey, this selfie is mine and upload it as as an NFT. and you also do that same thing and upload as an nft now the point is porsche ka gaadi ka kagadiya ko nahi pehne se the legal work of that car right registration details and everything it's with me right it's not with you so maybe when i come to know this that somebody is impersonating and trying to have the same nft in my nft i would just say that okay fine the registration details are with me so verify that and on blockchain things happen in this way that let's suppose you have the same art i have the same art as an nft and you are trying to say that you will get the same utilities which i am get i am giving now you might sell in the short run which is what is happening right now right people are trying to impersonate and trying to scam people you cannot 100% stop that right now because we are too early in the technology but you can definitely innovate in this way that i will have certain platforms where if i am throwing an event which i did jordar event we had nft tickets so anybody who wants to come to that event they can always say that hey we have jor pare wear nft why because they might take a screenshot and they can have that but we did nft tickets we innovated that and whenever they are coming to the event they scan that with our unique barcode and only if they have the nft ticket of jor parivar then only it will be redeemed and they can come so you can always innovate you cannot completely stop it jamtara dekha hai the season on netflix right now right watch that jamtara it's on mobile scams jo abhi now we have educated ourselves but it's still happening to a lot of places where you get a text message that aapko 2 crore ki lottery lag gayi hai and then they get a call and they will say aapko 25000 jama karna padega to clear the customs and something and something and you pay 20000 25000 so those kind of scams still are happening but it has reduced because people get educated so this is right now as well happening there is no way to stop it but there are other ways where we can innovate the real project creators so that's it it's a say for for me it's not just educating in nft or web3 world it's me trying to educate with respect to personal branding since past couple of years now it's me trying to educate people with respect to let's say how to have confidence while speaking on stage without a ppt and talking and making sense as well it's me educating people or your teachers educating you in college with respect to engineering it's the same thing the point is because web3 is a very new innovation after so many years see web2 ke zamane mein which is social media when a new platform comes everybody is busy googling and youtube how to go viral on that how to have more views and likes and comments on this how to grow on this platform how to grow my business on this new platform right we are used to that why because social media didn't change social media had those two concepts of having organic traffic and inorganic traffic 
So our human brains are trained psychologically that okay fine, no matter what new platform comes, there will be organic and inorganic. Paisa hai, to inorganic bhi karo, nahi hai, to organic hi karo. But because this is a brand new innovation, which is blockchain technology, which is now termed as Web3 and all, people are not able to accept as human beings. So that is the problem, first of all. The solution to that is you not giving up and constantly educating people by taking 100% accountability and you making sure that how you can innovate in the process in explaining people just like I did this three things. I never did this. You go to my XYZ platform, this would be documented for the first ever time. So you keep on innovating. So that will depend upon how capable you are as well. If you are not, you find somebody and try to collaborate. How do you collaborate? Maybe you might have money. You might have two crore. You might collaborate with somebody who is an educator and say that, hey, I have two crores, I'll invest in you, let's partner. I'll take 2% royalty in your project forever. There are so many ways and this is the reason why Probably in the banner for this event, it was NFTs for business. NFTs for business, when we talk, it is not just creating NFT. You don't have to create an NFT to be a part of Web3 community. Just like you don't have to build a personal brand to be a part of a community who is into Web2. Right? So that's my answer. It's, it's as simple. I mean, since past one and a half years, I have done Twitter threads, I have done mirror.xyz articles, I have done medium articles, I'm writing so many things, I'm filming this kind of thing. There are hours of content which I'm not selling while well, people are creating courses. There is free education, free education, free education, free education, free education, and still I'm innovating. Yeah, but people won't trust you. Why? Because they don't see the digital Pratik face, which is an IP. I always talk sensible things. <laughs> All right, yes. Sure, sure. So it has been a 1.5 years almost, one, not 1.5, August, say, a bit, so one year, I can say. Uh, 1.5 years of me getting into this because I started in April 2021. So before I give this answer, my first Bitcoin, my first Ethereum, my first NFT, my first everything with respect to Web3 started in April 2021. So I'm no new. I'm not an OG investor in Bitcoin and all. Okay, I didn't have Bitcoin before April 2021, period, end of story. I don't lie. I don't say that, huh, my non-custodial wallet was no. No. So now, from April till today and forever, I'm just educating and innovating in the ways. The challenges are still there and a lot of people might not have this clue that 1,254 NFT tokens around these 22 IPs of Jor Parivar, we are still not sold out. We are still not sold out. What do you mean by this? Because a lot of people might not understand we are not still sold out, meaning the f sold out ka matlab, when I'm launching a project, let's say, at the time of launching the project, till it gets sold out, it means 1254 primary transactions hona chahiye. Meaning every NFT should be bought at least once. That is what, when happens, is known as your project is sold out. Now, let's suppose, jaise ki, inho ne mera jo NFT ek bar liya tha, meaning, he has bought once out of 1254 NFTs. Now, he has sold, but somebody who bought that NFT, it is known as secondary transaction. And it goes forever and forever and forever, which you can see on blockchain technology platforms like etherscan ab literally me dekh sakte ho ki agar unhone bola hai ki maine ye becha hai kab becha hai wo bhi dekh sakte ho wo kisko gaya hai kaun se wallet me gaya wo dekh sakte ho you cannot know the human being obviously but you can know the wallet address so i'm still facing challenges because my project is not completely sold out still to this date if you go on etherscan which is a platform where you can see the history i i believe uh, still we are 31% not sold out all right. So 1254 may say almost 300, 300, 400, 400, NFTs are still Which has not got the first buyer. The way I'm doing and tackling is this way. 
the way i am doing in tackling is by educating more and more and more and more and following the principle of my dear hartley mentor gary vinerchuk jab 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 right hook what i'm trying to do is jab 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 i'm just providing you value i only talk about my projects when you ask me when there is something which might make sense i talked about ip building but did i say that hey mera ip itne hai le lo le lo le lo right it's jab 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 right hook and this is where you have to understand that the challenges where you will have to innovate is will not is will always be in branding and marketing because again to summarize this entire thing nfts are what branding and marketing way a new technology through you through through which you are doing business if an artist is selling let's suppose mf husain ki baat karte jo humne start kiya conversation right this artist has a business of painting things so instead of giving it in a museum instead of you him giving out on instagram he is using nft as a channel nft is a medium nft is a technology nft is a branding and marketing way so just like you might be promoting your business through instagram story ads right that means you now know that medium you now know that branding and marketing thing but does that mean that you know everything does that mean that it won't have challenges does that mean that you will never innovate does that mean that you will not create new creatives to have swipe up ads you'll always do that same way so my ways of uh, doing is i'm a content guy like i i cannot my my gifs are there which says content is my business either i'll die or i'll create content that's how i see now not everybody would be like me not everybody would be like me so they'll have to find just like i said partners or collaborations because you don't have to sacrifice your talent always in trying to do the new thing maybe that new thing is not made for you just like not everybody became web developers after the web developer boom not everybody went into an it engineering field not everybody became doctor sabko malum hai na medical mein paisa hai sala hum sabko malum hai ki wo doctor chhune se pehle 800 rupees le leta hai reception desk pe that's a great business right <laughs> but why are you not a doctor there is so much money in that right same way by 2027 this question of you trying to launch an nft would go out of your mind because you will realize your potential that maybe i am not an nft project creator maybe i am excellent in developing projects so let me be a web3 developer maybe i am a great artist so let me just keep collaborating with nft project creators i mean artists right now if they are really passionate about this for the next decade let me give you a brilliant idea to the camera as well every artist right now what they should be doing they should be trying to collaborate with people like me who have shitty images and they should upgrade and enhance the original ips and give it to the founder and ask them to trademark that as well and then launch a brand new 2.0 version of this project which is an og project now and say That मेरे को फाइव परसेंट रॉयल्टी दे दो इन टू पॉइंट ओ वर्शन देर आर सो मेनी वेज इन यू गाइज कैन यूज योर टैलेंट थ्रू एन एफ टीज बट नॉट जस्ट बाई क्रिएटिंग एन एन एफ टी प्रोजेक्ट दैट्स वॉट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड गाइज आई दैट आई Collectible, famous, so famous, number one, desirable. I do what I want when I want, in how I want.